You're probably wondering who these three handsome young men are. Allow me to introduce you to each of them. This right here is Sefer. He is the eldest of three cousins. This is Virat, the middle eldest. And finally, we have David, the youngest. Although these three boys might look and talk differently, they all share one thing in common. Their Samoan uncle, Yosefa Malosi, local bowling champion from 1975 to 1979, who unfortunately died in December of 1992. Could have been way faster if you guys brought your own shovels, eh? Nah, you're good, you. I'm just here for the moral support. He is right, though. For all we know, the chest could be meters deep underground. Yeah. You see, the boy's uncle, Yosefa, had buried a chest of treasure for them 14 years ago, in 1979. He drew up a map so that they would be able to find it, and gave them this map before he died. All right, boys, let's open it. Go over there, relax, relax. Mm -hmm. Some writing on this. For my favorite nephew. Mm -hmm. Uncle Joseph had a favorite nephew. Damn. All right, all right. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that he loved me the most. So I think I should just get this opened up. Get your hands off. <sighs> How are you the favorite? You're barely Samoan. Hey, what does that have to do with any of this, bro? Uncle Joseph was full Samoan. I think it's safe to say that I am the favorite. Hey, wait. You're no more Samoan than he is, well, of course. Yo, I think you'll find that I'm more Samoan than you, in spirit. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Oh, I'm not feeling like I'm not going to say Samoan. Yeah, but if I'm my uncle. Oh, my bad, man, I'm still learning. You see, Leo, you literally feel poco there. Alright, I don't even speak Samoan, but I know feel poco is not nice. Man, of course the only sound more words you know are insults. Probably gets cold in them all the time. Yeah, another word I know is pua. Have you ever been called a pua before, Sefa? <laughs> Same little <laughs> chicken. Oh, what can I do? I talk a soul. You're a real tough guy, aren't you? Man, I'm getting sick of you. You want to know something? There are two types of guys in this world, alright? There's tough guys, and then there's little idiots like you. You think they can go around saying whatever they want, thinking they're acting all tough? Man, you ain't got nothing going on. Sometimes the toughest guys are the ones that have the real problems, man. They got stuff going on deep down that you don't even know about. Do you need a hug? Okay. It was, it was just a word, man. I can't believe you had a favorite. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, even if he did love us all, he would still love all of It was his whole life. Wait, what's that? For my favorite nephews. Oh! oh! Neither man. of you thought to check the side of the box. I don't know, it's right. Well, no one cares about the side, it cares about the top. Oh my god! Hey, excuse me, mate. Excuse me, we're gonna cut that out over there, what, mate? We're taking a picture of the side of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Looking kind of lonely, girl. Would you like someone you could talk to? Well, I'm feeling kind of lonely too. And if you don't mind, can I sit down? Hey, bro. Never seen you around here. What's your name? My name's Richard. But oh, my Samoan friends call me Sa. <laughs> I think you should find some new friends, man. I'm not looking for any new friends right now. Whoa, whoa, okay. All right, bro. Two things, all right. Sal is actually someone for Dwarf. And second, this bowling alley belongs to me. The best bowler in Auckland. All right. Prove it then. All right, here's what we're going to do. Normal game. But the loser can never set foot into a bowling alley ever again. Sound good? Sounds good.